My name is Danielle, and I'm the Conservation and Youth Education Specialist with the Colorado State Forest Service. Today we're going to be doing an activity from Project Learning Tree called The Closer You Look. You can find this activity in Project Learning Tree's Nature Activities for Families. This is found under the Resources section at plt.org. Or, educators can get the full-length version in PLT's Environmental Education Activity Guide for Pre-K through 8. Visit coloradoplt.org to find a training in this guide nearest you. Have you ever really noticed a tree? Spent the time and really looked at all the details that were there. Today, we're going to be practicing that act of noticing called observations with our activity, The Closer You Look. For this activity, you will need a piece of drawing paper, colored pencils, crayons, or markers, a clipboard, or if you don't have one handy, you can make your own with a piece of cardboard and a clip. And you'll also need the activity and nature activities for families the closer you look. So you can get the table graphic organizer. This is a table where we'll be recording some information important to our observations. You can either print this off at a computer at home or you can do your own hand-drawn version and fill in the details as you go. Let's begin. To start, I want you to close your eyes and picture a tree. I want you to think about as many details as you can. Keeping your eyes closed, let's start with the trunk. What is the shape of the trunk? How many trunks are there? Is there one big trunk? Or does your tree have several trunks spouting out from the roots? Next, think about the bark. What color is the bark? What does it feel like? What does it look like? Keeping your eyes closed, Picture the branches of your tree. What shape are the branches? Do they have any thorns? What do the leaves look like? How are they attached to the branches? What do the leaves feel like? What shape are they? Take a moment and picture again those details of your tree. Go ahead and open your eyes. Now what I want you to do is create a drawing of the tree from your memory. I would like you to be as detailed as possible, thinking about things like the shape of the trunk, the color of the bark, what the branches look like, and the leaves. Include as many details as you can remember. What I'd like you to do is pause, finish your drawing, and when you're ready to come back, hit play. Welcome back! Hopefully you have a pretty detailed tree from memory. Now what we're going to do is use that graphic organizer. You're going to fill in the columns under tree from memory with as many details as possible. Being sure to talk about the trunk shape, the bark color, look, and texture. Texture is how the bark feels. The branches, their shape, pattern, and texture. Texture is how the branches feel. The leaves, their shape, pattern, 
texture and color. Leaf attachment. Were they attached all in one place or were they in a pattern? Seeds, fruits, flowers, nuts, or cones. Were any of these found on your tree from memory? What was the overall shape of your tree? And did you remember seeing any plants or animals on your tree? Take a moment to pause, fill in your graphic organizer, and when you're ready to come back, hit play. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get us ready for when we go outside to observe our tree. We're gonna act out some motions to help us think about the different parts of a tree. The first one, the trunk. What you're going to do is root your feet down nice and firm and stand up nice and tall and straight like the trunk of this tree. What you can do next is grow your branches nice and long like your tree. And at the end of the branches, just like this one, you have your leaves. So go ahead and get your leaves out, trees. And because it's a nice windy day, you can go ahead and sway your branches in the breeze. Nice job, trees. Now it's time to get outside. For this, you'll want to grab your clipboard, drawing paper, your graphic organizer, and colored pencils, crayons, or markers. If you have a camera handy, grab that as well, because pictures can help you grab even more details with your tree. You'll want to pick a tree that you can spend some time with. Once there, make sure you're sketching and making observations of as many details as you can. Pay attention to things like the trunk. Is it straight or curvy? The bark. What's its texture? This one feels kind of rough. The branches. What shape are they in? Is there a pattern you can observe? How about those leaves? What shape, color, and texture? These are kind of pointy. Is there anything else to observe about your tree? What's the overall shape of your tree? Make sure you're writing down and sketching with as many details as possible for your tree observations. This is your chance to get outside. At this time, grab your supplies, hit pause, Make your observations. When you're ready to come back, you can go ahead and hit play. Welcome back. Hopefully you were able to get outside and make some good observations of your tree. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and fill in the details on your graphic organizer making sure to write all of your notice things with your tree from observation. You can also take the opportunity to complete your drawing and compare it to your tree from memory. What are the things that are similar? Did you notice anything that was different? In my observations, when I took a closer look, I found out that the bark, which I thought was brown and smooth, was actually gray and brown, and it was a little bit rough towards the bottom. Also, the closer I looked, I noticed that those needles that I remembered being in clusters spread a little bit further down the branches than I originally thought. And my tree from observation had a lot more branches than my tree from memory. This is a really great thing to check out all of the similarities and differences between your two drawings. This is an activity you can be really creative with. You can even write a poem. I really liked what Hunter Liu, a fourth grade student from Sunny Hills Elementary did. 
He took a photo of an icy branch during this activity and wrote a haiku. The icy branches on a chilly winter day stare right back at me. Nice job, Hunter. You can also be creative with an art project. Finding spare materials around my home, I was able to create this 3D model of my tree. Check it out! Hopefully you were able to take a closer look and make some observations of some tree details that you might not have noticed before. I encourage you to try this activity again, checking out a new tree and seeing what observations you make. Thanks for spending time with me today and have fun the next time you take a closer look.